Welcome to episode 10 of Dalek Bump's Question Time. Time for Teletubbies asks, If given the opportunity, would you write an episode of Doctor Who, either on screen or for expanded media? And if so, what kind of story would it be? Wow, big question. The answer is obviously yes, if I got the opportunity to write a Doctor Who story then I would of course take it, and I'd have to think very carefully about what kind of story I'd want to tell. I'd probably want to do a Dalek story, but at the same time I'd also want to try to make something scary. An idea I've had for a long time now is a story involving a still-living Khaled, based on the return of the Dals from the early Dalek comics. In Dalek lore predating Genesis of the Daleks, the Daleks were originally bipedal purple aliens called Dals, and although their society is completely wiped out by the time the Dalek comics are set, there is a very interesting story in which several Dals held in suspended animation are found and revived by the Daleks. I'd probably want to do something similar with the Khaleds, maybe establish that a small group of extremely wealthy or powerful Khaleds had themselves frozen in suspended animation during the Thousand Year War, at a point in time when the war was still in its early days, only to be promptly forgotten by Khaled society, only being revived thousands of years later when the Thals briefly retook the planet. How would these Khaleds, who had previously been chief executives, barons, or wealthy businessmen, cope with the revelation that their entire society is gone, and worse, that their descendants are mutant abominations, and their only hope is their former mortal enemy? If you haven't guessed already, I'd be taking inspiration from the Star Trek TNG episode The Neutral Zone, which deals with a similar concept, but I'd like to take the idea one step further. It could even potentially lead to the Doctor travelling with a Khaled companion, hoping to show them the beauty of the universe, and bring some closure to the horrors of the Khaled Dal War. It's only a bare bones idea but I reckon there's potential for a story there. Sean McCullen asks, What Sonic Screwdriver design is your favourite? To be honest, I love all of them. Picking a favourite is really difficult. I like the simplicity of the earlier model, and the Series 1 to 4 Sonic is obviously an iconic sci-fi device compact, versatile, and not too flashy. 13 Sonic is great for similar reasons. 11 Sonic with the claws is really cool, and I especially like 12 Sonic. It's like a Swiss Army Sonic with lots of different additions and features. Controversial opinion, I also like the Sonic sunglasses, and I wish the Doctor and other companions in the show would use other Sonic devices more often, like Missy's Sonic Umbrella. But my favourite Sonic device of all is the War Doctor Sonic. I love how it was basically kit-bashed from toy parts, combining the handle of the classic Sonic with the LED light of a modern Sonic, meaning the official toy release of the War Doctor Sonic Screwdriver is the most screen accurate Sonic that we've seen so far because the actual prop was made using the same basic materials. Sebastian Davis asks, are there any Dalek fan animations that you accept as canon? Well, there are lots of great Dalek fan animations out there, and while I can't dictate which should or shouldn't be canon, there are a few that I would be happy to see inducted into the canon. The Dalek That Time Forgot is a wonderful fan project that continues the story of the Paradigm Daleks while also tying up some loot from earlier Dalek lore. It debuts the Paradigm Dalek Geneticist design, which is one of the few fan-made Dalek designs that I've made a custom of, and while there are a couple of moments of clunky dialogue here and there, on the whole the Dalek voices are really good, which is very important for a Dalek animation. Another great one is Infiltration of the Daleks, which has some of the best Dalek animation I think I've ever seen, fan film or otherwise. There are a few tiny nitpicks with the script that sadly really stand out to me as a Dalek fan, mostly involving lines borrowed from other episodes. The bit in episode 1, when the Dalek leader uses a communications barrier to contact the Emperor, that stuck out to me because it's based on a line from Doomsday, but in this context it doesn't make sense. In Doomsday, the communications barrier is a jamming field that prevents anything outside from contacting the sphere chamber. Sek lowers the barrier to establish visual contact with Thay, allowing the Doctor to phone Rose, and raises it again when he's done talking to the Cyber Leader, which cuts the phone call off. Infiltration of the Dalek seems to imply that the communications barrier is the transmission channel itself, which seems really odd to me. Anyway, sorry about that, just had to get one tiny nitpick of an otherwise spectacular Dalek fan animation off my chest. Everything else in this film is fantastic. The renders of the Imperial and Time War Daleks look amazing, the voice work is spectacular and there's some really impressive direction with the Daleks used throughout, that the official TV series could definitely take notes from. I also love the differentiation of Dalek ranks, with each one having a defined personality, and this film is able to create tension and drama from the interactions between these different Daleks, which is a great achievement. Another brilliant fan animation involving Daleks is the Doctor Who anime, which is 10 plus minutes of a blissful animated love letter to both Doctor Who and 90s anime styles in general, and the Dalek scenes are a particular particularly special highlight. The sound design is impeccable, the dialogue is brilliant, and the scene where the Daleks fight a group of soldiers at the top of a skyscraper is honestly one of my favourite Dalek scenes in any media. There are lots and lots of wonderful Dalek fan animations out there, but for me the top three are the Doctor Who anime, Infiltration of the Daleks, and the Dalek that time forgot. And that wraps it up for this episode of Dalek Bump's Question Time. Let me know your answers to these questions in the comments below. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to Dalek Bumps.